This is Daisy. She is a New Zealand. And I was just about to start talking about the chicks to you guys, but um, she was stomping in her cage so much and that usually means that she wants attention. So I had to come and give some to her, right? We do plan on uh, breeding her. We get our mail next week, actually. So that'll be an adventure for us. She's sweet. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Make It Make, where I try to live by the motto, if you can't get it to make, then make it make. So today I figured I'd talk to you about our quail chicks and why I've chosen to raise them and why I think you should too, because I think they're amazing animals to have, especially if you're gonna be starting off a brand new homestead, which we are. It is a just a great option for people and you can do this almost anywhere. We have our coop set up in the backyard and we did make our coop. It's not necessary to go ahead and make your coop. You can, you can get uh, quail cages that can house them too, as long as the height of the cage is 12 inches, maybe, you know, 14 is fine. I wouldn't go any higher than that just because they get spooked easily. And when they get spooked, they fly and they can break their necks or get severely injured. So that's why you wanna keep them in a smaller confinement. And that's fine for them. They're they're completely fine and it's, it's absolutely humane to keep them like that unless you decide you're going to build a quail coop that is six to eight feet high so they can get that jump started and fly and not get hurt. But most people keep their quail in that type of coop. And um, I have a video on ours as well if you wanna take a closer look on our quail coop and how we put that together. So the reason why I mainly chose them was because the turnaround for quail and the rewards that you get back from them is a lot faster than chickens. It's not to say that I don't absolutely love chickens, I do, but it's also nice to be able to have an animal that, again, the turnaround is a lot faster. With the quail here, as far as incubating goes, they incubate for, well, lockdown day is day 14, and day 18 is hatch day, and you know, and mine actually hatched on day 17, so. So you can, um, it's a lot shorter time as far as incubating chicken eggs. So if you've ever incubated chicken eggs, it's just a little bit longer, just by a couple days, but with quail, it's a little bit shorter, which is also nice too. <clears throat> These guys, when they hatch, they are game birds, you know? Um, so they hit the ground running for sure. They're little fast guys, and I'll show you here in a minute um, how they just run around. And they're so super small when they are born, they look like little bumblebees with the stripes that they have on their back. It's like, it's really cute, it's adorable. And right now they are exactly one week old. And I would say at one week old to almost two weeks, they are, they are probably the size of a chicken chick. And they're already starting to get feathers and a, a cute little tail on them. I'm gonna grab one if I can here. <clears throat> that way I can just uh, show you up close if I if I can get one There you go. Okay, so this is a quail chick at one week old It's a good one. I'm surprised that he's not like He or she is Not jumping out because these guys will jump. They will absolutely jump out of your hands <laughs> And as you can see, their feathers are starting to come in really nicely already. And these guys, they will start growing, I mean, sorry, they will start flying, look at that, already. Very nice. They'll start flying at two weeks. <laughs> so in a week, I'm gonna have to cover this up of quail flying everywhere. Okay, so the quail, they can be feather sexed at three weeks, which means I can tell if they are male or female at three weeks by their feathers. And then about six to seven weeks is when they will reach sexual maturity and be able to breed and produce eggs for me. And that's, I mean, that's just really, really good. 
Um, with a chicken, it takes about six months. With a quail, I mean, two, two and a half months, you'll already start to be having eggs, which is just a fantastic turnaround. And that was very appealing for me and another reason why I wanted to raise quail. As far as their eggs, they are smaller. It's about three quail eggs per one chicken egg, and I'm fine with that. These guys are gonna be laying out a ton of eggs, and I kinda knew going into it that they were gonna be a lot smaller. And I like having the combination of having chicken eggs and quail eggs, and just the, the nutrients are different in them, and it's just nice having that combination. When you do have the quail eggs, I do recommend getting quail egg scissors. Um, just because a quail egg is very hard to crack. It's not like cracking a regular chicken egg where you can just crack a chicken egg and open it up. A quail egg has a much thicker membrane inside of it and you can go like this forever and not crack it. So having, you know, a quail egg scissors, having quail egg scissors is easy because you just snip off the top and you just pour. And you can do that, you know, in a bowl, snip, pour, snip, pour in a bowl, and then scramble them up, and then you have scrambled eggs. It does, to me, it's not like it takes any more time than it does cracking an egg. It's just not inconvenient for me. So the other thing is when you are raising quail chicks, you want to make sure that they have a high protein feed. Typically, you want to start them off with a game bird starter because they are game birds. So they need a high protein, about 25%, I would say. I mean, you could get away with 18, 19%, but I don't recommend that when it comes to uh, growing um, these birds. They, they really need a very high protein diet. So a game bird starter is where you want to start out with these guys here. So anyway, I hope that you guys like this video and I hope it's encouraged you to start raising quail or thinking about it for yourself. It's really easy, the turnaround is great and it's extremely rewarding. Anyway, have a great day and as always, God bless.